Okay, so you'll see what I'm doing right now. I've got them set on a table and I've got some regular vegetable oil. This vegetable oil is going to pretty much counteract any of that sticky glue. So I'm gonna put a little bit of it on there. Whoop! And it doesn't matter if there's a little bit too much because honestly, I love this guy. Don't want anything to happen to him. Now what I'm gonna do, because I don't wanna hurt him and I don't wanna just grab him and yank off was what that would do is hurt. I mean, if you can imagine um, any ladies out there who've been waxed or anybody who's ever done that, you can probably imagine that if I were to just yank you off of a glue trap, it would hurt pretty bad. So what I'm gonna do is just gently right now kind of work that oil, and I'm gonna try to get it to go underneath his scales. And as it does, he's gonna be able to wiggle around a little bit more. I wanna make sure I'm not hurting him, not putting any unnecessary force on him. I don't wanna hurt those scales. I simply want to help this guy out and let him get free so he's not stuck in this glue. Now you'll see he's also trying to help me out right now too. He's moving his head, he's trying to see like, okay, I can wiggle. And the more he wiggles, the more free his scales are gonna become from this glue trap. Now, if you've seen any of my other previous videos, freeing reptiles, um, snakes specifically from glue traps is something that I've had to do. Luckily, this isn't a rattlesnake because it's a little bit of a different situation when I'm having to rescue a rattlesnake off of a glue trap. But either way, with how tiny he is, I really want to be as gentle as possible and just slowly massaging, pushing him over just a little bit, not enough to hurt him. And you'll see he's curled up his tail. His tail goes into a tight little spiral showing me that red saying, hey, Stay away, like I'm, 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 I'm big and scary. I'm not a snake, I'm worse. So he corkscrews his tail, he curls it all up, and that's just another little defensive mechanism for him. Now, as we know, sometimes in wild, the more brightly colorful something is, the more harmful and dangerous it can be. So knowing this guy, I do know who he is, I know what he is, I know what he's capable of, I respect him, but at the same time, I'm not afraid of this guy at all. So I'm here to help him, that's what I'm doing, and we're almost there, you can see, we've nearly gotten him released. Once he is, I am gonna hold on to this one, because he has been here for a little while, you can definitely tell he's got some bones sticking. He's really, really skinny, so he definitely needs to eat a big old meal right now. So I'm gonna continue going, continue working it, making sure I'm not scaring him. Come over to the other side, push him the other direction, back and forth and back and forth and little massages. Oh, could you imagine how good that would feel right now? Nice little massage. And we are almost free, almost there. Come on, buddy, help me out here. Come on, come on, you got it. Promise once you're free, you're gonna feel so much better. Right, it's okay, I'm not gonna hurt you. Not gonna hurt you. So I'm just continuously working my fingers, working them in there, trying to push off these scales. I don't wanna hurt him. He's helping, come on, keep on wiggling, keep wiggling. Almost there. Almost there, buddy. No, oh, we've got literally two scales holding on to him right now. You guys, if this isn't enough to convince you that glue traps are evil, please, please, please reconsider before you put a glue trap out. And we're free! We did it! We've got our ringneck snake finally free from this wretched glue trap that we can just throw away. I'm absolutely appalled by glue traps. I hate them. I am gonna give this guy a little comb over. I can definitely tell he strained himself quite a bit during this process. So now, what I really want to do is take a paper towel, and I want to take my new little friend here, whoop, right on a paper towel. And what this paper towel is going to do, it's going to allow him to kind of get a little bit of that oil off of him. I do not want to put him back into the wild covered in this oil. It can honestly just not... I mean, if you imagine, it's probably not the most comfortable thing in the world being covered in oil. But now that we've got him free, I just want to give him a little one over so I can take the glove off. Now in this one over, I'm going to pick him up. And what I want to show you, 
Now look how little and how pretty he is. Oh, he's got energy. This is good, this is good. Now really what you wanna see is this belly. You see this bright orange belly that turns red right at the tail. He curls that up. Now curling it up is both one for a sign of defense and two, it's also very, very, very appetizing to certain animals that might wanna get it. So he'll curl his tail up nice like a corkscrew. And as he curls it up nice and tight, either A, something's gonna come in there and wanna get a bite of it, or B, somebody trying to get a bite out of him is gonna be a little bit too scared to do so. So this here is an absolutely beautiful specimen of a ring neck snake. And I'm so happy that we were able to get them off the glue trap. Everybody, please remember, glue traps do nothing but harm. Glue traps are 100% designed to capture animals and starve them or like kill them of thirst. So please, for whatever it's worth, it, it, just stop using glue traps. There are so many other ways, get a cat. Get a mouse trap that'll kill a mouse humanely, but it's gonna keep the snake away. So this is one of my, I, I am so happy right now. I'm on cloud nine. There was definitely a bit of concern for me. I didn't know if we were gonna be able to make it and actually be able to help him out. So this is our ring neck snake and you can see that ring. Shows us exactly why we call him a ring neck snake. Beautiful snake. Hopefully we get to find some more because this is an awesome day. A uh, little bit about these snakes. So they're nocturnal. Um, being nocturnal, what does that mean? That means they will only come outside at nighttime. So my, my guess is that this little guy heard the rain last night. They love when it starts to rain. They actually go outside a lot when it starts to rain. So what probably happened is it was raining, it was nighttime, it was the perfect conditions for him to be able to go out, maybe catch a nice big slug for dinner or an earthworm for dinner, and he found a crack under the door. And through that crack under the door, he probably slid in, and then truth be told, oh my gosh, he got stuck. And luckily, Snake Wranglers and Danger Noodle Project were able to work together get over to the house as quickly as humanly possible and grab this guy off of what would certainly be an absolute death. Now, a beautiful creature like this has no place in just killing and dying from something that wasn't its fault. Um, now, one other thing we're gonna try to do right now is obviously give this guy a little meal. So I'm gonna see if maybe, just maybe, he'll be interested in grabbing a hold of one of these slugs. And if he is, then he gets a nice meal. If not, I'm gonna put it inside of an enclosure with him so that way he can eat. But these snakes do primarily eat small lizards, um, little amphibians like tiny frogs, slugs, um, just your kind of smaller. Obviously you see his body is really tiny so there's not too much that he can eat. He's not gonna be eating big rats or anything, but a nice fat juicy little slug like this would be a wonderful meal for him. Um, and I am gonna put that in an enclosure with him, keep an eye on him, make sure that the oil is gone, and make sure there's no breaks or anything within his body. So, you guys, my name is Ryan, this Danger Noodle Project, and I could not be happier. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe to our channel. Like, I'm doing this, literally left my job so I could do this. And in order to do that, I do have to find a way to be able to garner some support and some everything that I could need for it. So, if you have the opportunity, Please like and subscribe. I promise you, you will not regret it. We've got a lot of snakes to show you, a lot of things to teach, and a lot of snakes to rescue. So you guys have a good rest of your day. Like and subscribe.